Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Fortnite Battle Royale mini event here on the channel. Now, today we have Avatar Elements. Everything in Elemental Harmony. Jump in now to master your bending and complete your Avatar Elements reward track until May 3rd. So, three week long mini event. As a result of this, they have temporarily vaulted the Wings of Icarus, Zeus's Lightning Bolt and the Chains of Hades is the only sad part of this. But here we are with a brand new Avatar Last Airbender crossover event where obviously you've already seen the skins in the item shop for Katara, Toph and Zuko. In the battle pass we've got Korra and now in the new event pass you can get yourself Aang. In the game to replace the items that we've just lost, we do now also have fire bending, air bending, and earth bending. So, now that we've watched the uh, the video, let's take a little look at what those four different things are. So, you already know water bending hurls projectiles of ice. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Then you've got Earth Bending, which can summon chunks of Earth to either hurl at foes or use them to create defensive barriers. Fire Bending produces flames to launch arcs of fire towards foes and slam them down from above in a fiery explosion. So you can either do a ground slam of fire or you can use what looks a bit like a sort of spreaded shotgun style attack. And then Air Bending allows you to pretty much fly. Um, so you can use the air wheel technique to traverse great distances or air the jump technique to launch yourself and nearby uh, players into the air. So that is the elements. If you look, the lobby screen has also changed to have the iceberg in the background with Ang in it. And then we come over to the next page, which is the new events page, which you're familiar to what these look like now and you have to work through 1 to 11,000 points this time you're collecting chi and chakras chi will progress you through the pass uh, you get the top pass for free the bottom pass is paid for up to 1,000 V-Bucks and then 6 uh, chakras all 6 chakras being unlocked will unlock you the upper glider so without further ado we're going to go and confirm the purchase to unlock the lovely, lovely pass, which will give us Ang straight away. We are all connected. Everything is connected. So, we've got Ang. We've unlocked the pass. But let's have a little look at what the quests are. So, just like normal, you have some discovery quests, which every 65,000 XP you earn in Creator Made Islands will give you 400 Chi, and we'll get a new one of those. Five stages every time, we'll get a new one every single chakra. So that's 12,000 chi right there possible. So you could do this just by playing creative. It is very much a play your way kind of thing. But we also have six quests for the water chakra. Each one given to us by none other than Katara. And each one gives us 350 chi. And those quests are restoring 500 shields shouldn't be too hard. Destroying a cabbage cart. Uh, they're not marked so you're going to have to find them but they are party assisted so if anyone in your party um, destroys one nice and easy the other easy one is land on water from the battle bus twice shouldn't be too hard then you also have to receive 25 passive healing with water bending by entering water now if you hover over that one it does mark two places one on the east uh, northeast of mount olympus southeast of grand glacier and there is one west of classy courts those two areas are normally going to be characters that will sell you the water bending. So if you want a water bending mythic and you can't find one, go he go there and you might be able to buy yourself one. Uh, deal a thousand damage to opponents with water bending. Again, you can go and get your water bending from um, those two characters that sell it. And keep in mind as well, most importantly, that that quest says opponents. So you can do that to guards and NPCs. And then finally, visit an elemental shrine. You will notice that there are eight elemental shrines across the map i'm pretty sure that uh two of uh, each of them gives you one it can give you one of the four uh scrolls of either water bending fire bending air bending or earth bending uh not sh quite sure which ones are which obviously the one west of classic courts and southeast of grand glacier those two are the water bending ones but you got to visit any of those eight so without further ado me and luke are going to go into a zero build battle royale 
which has a new image for this game, uh, for this uh, game mode during the event. This event will run until the 3rd of May. So in the 3rd of May, all of this event will end. The firebending, earthbending and airbending mythics will be removed. And the chains of Hades, Zeus's lightning bolt and the wings of Icarus will be returned into the game. So without further ado, let's jump into a game. Hmm. So here we are and let's get straight to it. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm not quite going to land directly at the shrine, I don't think. Because you're going to land on water directly from the bus twice for that quest. Obviously we won't be able to show you how to do that twice in this video, but I can show you guys from here. There is fire where? There's not fire, I don't see fire there. Oh, so these shrines actually are quite cool. Like they're full blown. Yeah. There is an awful lot of people going to such a little place. That isn't great at all. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So the shrines are actually marked on the minimap. Let's go and go on up to the shrine, I guess. If you come to me as well at some point, I do have a flow brief. Is I don't know how many water bending mythics or stuff they have at each shrine. Is there really only the one scroll there? Oh, that's sad. There is only the one. That's really sad. You love that emote. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, 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 Luke, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. There's only one shrine, but it gives two. Okay. I need to take some full damage so we can take some passive, we, we can try out the passive healing. Because I've not tried the passive. I kind of forgot that. Huh? No, because I didn't realise at first that they did do the passive healing. How good is the passive healing? Five per second. That's ridiculous. That's so OP. Well, let's go. Let's go take some damage. I've taken a fair bit now, and then we can go and heal. Wait, you don't even need to hold it out, you just need to have it. Oh, that's so broken. Do Epic realise what they've done? <laughs> like, that is one of the most OP things I've ever heard. Have something in your inventory, sit in water and you get 5 health a second, that's ridiculous. Also, some people are mad that we took the mythics. Wait, they have wait, they have the fire mythic. They actually have the fire mythic. How do they have the fire? How are they firebending? 
I literally saw a burst of fire come from them. Also, don't quite know where they went after I knocked one of them. Oh no. I don't quite know where you just went off. Yeah, you just sort of did your own thing. <laughs> I mean, well, that was a nice and quick game, though, and that's sort of what what I wanted to show off. So we've done a very, very quick game. You guys can see that we died fairly quickly, but we've already got 700 chi. I've made good progress on one of them. Restoring 500 shields is a very easy quest to do. Landing on water from the battle bus twice, that's also not too hard to do. And then dealing a thousand damage to opponents with waterbending, we've already got 442. If you find it, if you find the waterbending mythic, it's not going to be too hard to deal that kind of damage. The problem might be is getting your hands on the waterbending. But obviously you can either go to the sh two shrines that drop it, or get lucky and kill someone who's got it, or just get lucky and get it from a chest. I think you can still get them from chests, however don't quote me on that. What is hard is to destroy a cabbage cart, because where are the cabbage carts? So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to let you know right now. So, some of the cabbage carts that we can tell you the location of right here, right now, is the tunnel near Mount Olympus. You can find one there. You can find one actually in Mount Olympus, on the southern edge of the westernmost building. So, um somewhere around here on that sort of leftmost building in Mount Olympus around there um, you've got one at the bottom of the western stairs to Mount Olympus so the main stairs up to Mount Olympus there's one at the bottom of there that should be quite easy to find there's one near a shed that's just north of um, fencing fields so over by fencing fields north of there there is the shed by the road there should be a cabbage cart over there and then finally, there is also a cabbage cart in the middle of restored reels. So, all in all, you should be able to find a cabbage cart using my information there. But good luck in doing so, because obviously, it is not going to be an easy quest with everyone else trying to do it at the same time. So, that is it for the Water Chakra quests. We will be back in three days to cover the Earth Chakra which will be on Monday, and then the week six quests on Tuesday. But with all that in mind, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you found it informative, enjoyable, and fun to watch, as always. And I will see you in the next one.